Hello, it's Sarah. And today I want to share my itty bitty mini uh, for the swap at, um, what is it? Mini album scraps. And it's all things Tim Holtz. And I had so much fun making this. Now, I have always kind of been attracted to Tim Holtz style. Um, and I have collected quite a bit of stuff. I'm not fully, like, I haven't used it <laughs> all um, as much as I should or ha to be as familiar as with it as I could. But this was so much fun. And I really think I got a lot of his techniques and different things that he offers in his line into this mini. So I'm going to start sharing. And um, as I go, I'm going to um, show you some of the items that I used if... Um, you, I'm sure you've all you all know about them. So, first of all, my little charm is a swivel clasp, and on that I've just put all of his little things. I put a gear, a key, one of those little um, hanger clips, a hanger clip, um, some baubles. Uh, I forget what these are called. That has excellence on it. And then I even put a T for Tim. This is his, like, I don't know if they're typewriter keys or something. And then this says Journey. So, oh, and one of these things even. I forget what they're called. This one says Memento. So I was really happy with that. That's really cute. And it's light. It's not real heavy. So that was good. And then on the cover, I was, <clears throat> excuse me, <coughs> really happy with this too. This says The Journey Awakens the Soul. So I put the alarm clock because it's like awakens and I just put a butterfly, but, um, I actually, uh, cut these out of, and I don't have any more. I literally used my last scrap of grunge paper. Um, and I hadn't really used it very much or known what to do with grunge paper, but I just decided to totally make all my die cuts out of grunge paper for this one. And I like how it turned out. Um, I, did some like let's see for this I think I just inked these with the distress inks and um, I, I stamped on it and then oh guys the distress stickles now I've seen other people when they've used distress stickles and they're disappointed with them because they don't feel like they're as sparkly as regular stickles but I saw a, a video and I can't I think her name oh man I think I left it upstairs um, but she explained that these are made a little bit differently, and it's not actually glitter in here. It's It says glitter glue, but it's mica, she said, and that's a different type of sparkly material, and she suggested that instead of just like putting on stickles how we normally do, like kind of a thick coat, just, I even actually just squirted it on my um, craft mat, and then just used my finger and smudged it on, um, anyway, it's... A very thin coat and then you can heat set it so I did that to all my die cuts I actually used rub and buff a little bit I used a spinner here I think that's called a spinner and oh, that's a spinner so anyway I was pretty happy with my cover it's just simple and small and because it says it's a map paper this is Tim Holtz um, I forget what the paper packet is it's um crowded attic is the only one that I had so I used that so that's my cover and then inside, I have, I made these, uh, this itty bitty mini out of uh, manila file folders. I'm going to turn this a little. It's too, too uh, glary. Manila file folders. And I kind of just made my own measurements. The tags I used are the, um, the Tim Holtz tags. I forget what, what they're called. Um, and I just cut them down to fit. So what I did was I made them with a front pocket, like you just fold it up. So here's the measurements and everything. I could do that. But you just fold this up and you make a front pocket. And then I take a piece of, I fold this in and just put, it's kind of like the Kathy Orta, the center piece that she uses for her envelope mini albums. That's kind of what I um, took the idea from. So each page has a front pocket that I put an ATC in. And I used, I have quite a few of his ATC stamps. So that's what I decided to do was make like an ATC um, that this one actually is not, this is from one of his stamp sets, but I just thought it was so cool. And I used my mini camera and I put the distress stickles on that cause it's a photograph. And then each one of the, um, 
tags I just did with stamps. I did use some glimmer mists and uh, distress stains, or not stains, distress inks and stamps. That's it. And then, oh, and I did use, this is new for me too, I had never used it, the crinkle ribbon. And I got so messy with that. I just like, I spritzed it like a couple different colors. I think I have, I actually put, let's see, I only have two distress stains and I put both of them on my craft sheet and then I just like spritzed it with glimmer mist and all types of stuff and then I even went over it with like other inks and stuff so and then I just cut it apart just with like all different colors from the um from the collection it didn't really matter so I was happy with that and then this these are the coolest thing these are his little I have like a whole pile of stuff over here Tim Holtz stuff there's a let me say um these they're called journaling tickets these journaling tickets and I actually got these at Hobby Lobby and I'm gonna get more because they're so cute and fun to work with and they come printed out already and they're pretty nice size they're at least like um let's see three or three by like two or something like that and his this is stamp timber so he has a tutorial on uh, Simon says stamp where he makes these little um, journaling tickets into little cards so I just took that idea and I just used them in here as my little other area of the um, page which I love these things I would just so I thought they were so cute I just had to get it so of course I ordered this this is a new set this is called tiny things and it's just really tiny little stamps I mean they're Prima has similar ones with these different types of little um, things, but I just got the Tim Holtz one and thought, okay, it's all themed Tim. So I stamped the little globe on there. This is washi tape of Tim's washi tape. These are, um, let me see if I have these out. They're little labels. These, these were new for me too. This is called the vial labels and they come in black and red. So here's the red ones and then there's black ones. And then I just stuck that on and put, this is the finger point and washi tape. Where did I put all my washi tape? I have so much stuff. So I actually, this washi tape was so cool because it comes in four different, four different ones. You get this, 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 and no, not the butterflies. That's a recollections one. There's one other one. Oh, it's ABCs. It's around here. It is. It was ABCs. So I thought for 10 bucks and then you use a 40% off coupon. That was pretty good. So I got that and because you needed that so that's the finger from that i know there's a stamp finger and everything and then these are you can't really see this one that well um this is another new thing i got it's called um custom fasteners and these are pretty cool because you can if you have a stamp uh circle punch i mean the size of that you're good to go it only comes with this many stickers so i just used what i had but if you have that specific i think it's like a half no half inch circle i don't know I think I might have that size too, but you could put any picture you want in here and it comes with an epoxy um, like dome covering it. So that was the finishing touch. Oh, and then this, the World Traveler. I I'm just like so excited. I'm sorry. This one really made me happy because I had all this, I had a lot of the stuff. I knew I could do a pretty good album with a lot of the stuff. This is called Chit Chat and there's all these different words in here in craft and white that you can make into sayings. So this one just says world traveler. So I thought that was cute with the globe. And then I just tied a little piece of twine and glue. Oh, and here's the little, uh, I'm sorry, I have a lot of stuff. Mini paper clips, so cute. I could have even put the little um, hanger one on there, the hanger clip. I think I put a hanger, no, I don't think I did. All right, so that's the first page. I'm gonna have to shut it down and, and do another um, part two. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so in the second page, I did the same thing. This one's kind of a butterfly theme, so I did a butterfly ATC, and I just colored it with, oh, oh, also, oh yeah, this. This is called um, Core, Distress Core, Coordinations, I guess, Coordinations. And so I just picked a, a random color, like this is kind of a, a navy green, or not navy green, you know, army green or something. And it's cool, I don't have the Tim Holtz, um, sanding block thing but i do think that is a good tool because it keeps your sandpaper really flat 
And that way, if I had embossed these, which I pro that's the one thing I didn't do is use any embossing folders. So that's the one thing I didn't do in here. I'm going to make another one that's like bigger and I'm going to keep it because this is just really cool. Um, but I just used regular sandpaper and went around the edges and then um, distressed it on the back and put that on the back of my ATCs. But this one had butterfly paper, so I just went with the butterfly theme. This is his um, mini butterfly, what are these called? Movers and Shapers, the mini butterfly set. It's They're so cute, these butterflies. I really love these. I just, I got it and never used it. It was here, but I never used it. So this is one that I didn't use. So I, and again, I put the Distress Stickles on it. And I just like how they come out and they're not, it's like, it's glimmery. It's not like totally covered with um, thick like glitter. It's just a glimmer effect. So anyway, um, I did the butterfly. I put a key there. And then this one's the butterfly theme. It says encourage possibility. And there's a little butterfly in here and another paper clip. And then this tag has, well, this tag has a, a car, which I love this. Um, set and I might redo this because it's just kind of bleh, I don't know nothing much going on there's a I have a butterfly um, some butterfly stamps that I thought might go better with that oh and each tag also along with the ribbon I use the tiny attacher to just put a little staple in there because I'm gonna crisscross it because um it's a Tim Holtz thing another Tim Holtz thing all right so then the next page I did with the bird oh cool this is his it's actually the caged bird um, die, and the bird just fit perfectly on here. And I used crackle paint, which I had it, and I never really used it and didn't know what to do with it. And so I just tried it, and I'm used to doing the three-step crackle, so it was a little different. Like this, you kind of just finish all your coloring and then just put it on and let it crackle, and then you're done. So it just leaves a kind of a, they're really, it's crackly. Like, I don't know. I put a little um, eyelet in his eye and just colored it um, with the, this is the grunge paper again, and just went, I think I did, I did use my embossing tool, I mean my uh, sponge applicator, and then I did a bird ATC with the green paper on the back, and then this one has the birds on the wire stamp. My stamping wasn't that good on these. I'm not really impressed with my stamping for some reason. I don't know. I just... I don't, I haven't stamped as much lately, so that's that, and then this one has the birds, this is from the tiny things again, the birds, I colored them red and purple, because this is red and purple, and I have uh, music in there, that's like a music thing, it says create peace, and I just put the bird cage and a little uh, thing again, and some twine, and they're, they're all the same, I only did four pages because that's really all, I was disappointed because I actually made five pages, if I could find my fifth page, it's right here, but I only, the biggest um, ring size I had for the binding, um, my bind it all, was an inch, and I had it together with the five pages, and it was, it was even before it was um, completely embellished, and it was just too small, so... I just took a page out and that kind of did it. I, I want to see if they have the bigger ones. So I'm going to go to Hobby Lobby next week. So this page says Artful Flight and it has a hot air balloon. And I did the finger again, but this time on a black um, file label or whatever it's called. A five cent, like five cent. This was actually just um, polka dot um, tape that I had. It's not a Tim Holtz one, but I liked it. I didn't want to just keep using the same one. And another clip. And then this one has birds and a clock, and it's green and yellow. And then I used the gears, and I used the Distress Paints and the Metallics to paint them. And then I did put a little um, patina over it with my uh, Rub and Buff, and then just some of his gears on top. And then the tag, I like this. Uh, this tag turned out nice and shiny, because I used Glimmer Mist on it. So, kind of cute. I just had to cut the tags down to fit. And a little sliver off the sides, too, because of when you put it in, it just um, was a little tight. And then the final page, it just says, this is the ABC washi tape, Discover Life, and it says Traveler on there, and the little car, and another clip, and some more twine. And then I just put Enjoy the Journey. And this is his glassine bags, the glassine pockets, actually. I didn't have... Um, the paper or anything. I just cut this up and used the um, tattered 
flower and put a gear in the middle and then actually these are out of um these are just the a different uh leaf um die cut that i had and i just stamped them and i put um the stress stickles all over everything this butterfly and that's it but it is all things tim holtz except for like i said um embossing and i could have i don't know i mean I don't, I'm going to try and throw embossing into my uh, bigger one that I do. I'm going to try and make a bigger version of this that fits like a whole tag. Like the tag can be the whole size. So I don't know. I'm going to try and make it just like, I guess it'll be this big. But I, I'm really happy with it. I hope whoever gets it loves it. I really love it. Um, I just think it turned out really cool. I mean, you can't, there's no place to put pictures really. It's just kind of a display of all Tim's... Um, techniques and stuff, but I enjoyed it so much. So that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching.